typology is the symbolic foreshadowing of future events which participates in the reality of that future event. The Paschal Lamb, which saved the Israelites from the destroying angel in the Passover, is a type of the blood of Christ. It saves the Israelites because it participates in the reality of the blood of Christ. So it's not merely a symbol. It's not merely simply foreshadowing prophetically something. It's actually participating in, in an eternal reality that is to come. That's what typology is. And so what our Lord does in the Gospels is he introduces an eschatological typology. We have these three eschatological discourses by our Lord predicting the destruction of the temple and in the same words, also predicting the end times. And that's why there's a double meaning. There's a phrase in there in those discourses where our Lord says, this generation will not pass away until all these things come about. Well, he's speaking in, in a double sense there. On the one hand, he is speaking about the present generation of Jews at that time who would see the destruction of the temple in 70 AD. But he's also speaking in another sense generation, meaning the race of Israel, will not pass away until the end of time. So he's predicting the, the preservation of the race of Israel all the way to the end of time at the same time. So this is why this we have this depth of meaning in the scripture. We have this introduction of this eschatological typology. So we have these three discourses in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but we do not have the same discourse in the Gospel of St. John. And that's where Revelation comes in. The book of Revelation is the eschatological discourse of St. John. But in this case, it is a direct revelation by Jesus Christ to John 